Church is moving into a new phase, and it's time for the Synod of WA to elect a new moderator. A new moderator is elected every three years and is the pastoral and spiritual leader for the Uniting Church in WA. Being moderator is a big commitment. The person who is elected will serve as moderator-elect for a year before serving as moderator for three years and then as ex-moderator for another three. They can be lay or ordained, male or female, and from any cultural background. The moderator is a pastor, a proclaimer, a prophetic voice for the Uniting Church in WA. One of the most exciting aspects, I believe, of the role of moderator is that of being the agent of cohesion. It seems to me that it's essential that the moderator feels comfortable in building, maintaining and enhancing relationships in a wide range of environments. For example, between the councils of the church, between our synod and the assembly, between our synod and other synods, between the synod and our presbytery. Also, relationships that are external of the church, with heads of churches, interfaith gatherings, with government and government departments, with the press, and also with our overseas partner churches. Another area which I think is really, really important is the relationships with the different aspects of the life of our church, with Congress, with culturally and linguistically diverse congregations, with young people and agencies and schools. All this is part of the role of being the moderator, of being the one that holds that together. In 1977, three churches responded to the call to mission in a new church, the Uniting Church. Our founding mothers and fathers clearly articulated their hope in a statement to the nation. Since then, our call to mission in God's world has been central to all that we do. Today, as we look to the future, we value the leadership of our moderator and look with great anticipation to new leadership, building on past relationships with Congress, cross-cultural congregations, and look forward to fresh expressions of faith within our agencies, schools, and, and congregations. We need a moderator who will guide us into this hope-filled future. As we move into a new phase in the church, I'm hoping for inclusivity, a focus on the youth and the future of the church, and someone who will build and maintain the strong community that is the Synod of Western Australia. Who do you know in the Uniting Church WA that could serve in this role? Who could you tap on the shoulder? It's time to let them know. The discerning starts now with you.